Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you today with a quick video update on the sheep. As you can tell, I'm slightly winded <laughs> because I got in there just to check the sheep out. I wanted to give them a little feel and uh, see how their body condition was doing. Um, of course, they look they look pretty good. Uh, you know, no uh, bones showing where they shouldn't be and uh, they feel extremely uh, meaty and strong <laughs> as you can probably tell um, by the way I'm breathing I just got in there and checked them out and they're they're still not used to me enough that they want to let me touch them um, they're not real skittish or scared if I'm you know just walking around not doing anything but after you try to touch them it's like yeah we're gonna stay away from you for a while so uh, they they don't they don't care for that too much but anyway um the grass you know from the uh drought has been pretty rough it's been real low i don't like it being this low because the sheep need to have it up above four inches just to help with parasite loads if you can move them often enough and keep them grazing high enough there's absolutely no reason to worm them uh greg judy's one of the people that teaches uh that method of you know rotational grazing with sheep and um if you if you do it often enough and everything you just don't have parasite loads because they're not going over the same ground um but yeah this is a little low luckily we've had uh the neighbor that gave us some hay and so i can give them some of that give them some other forage and we have one area where the grass has recovered and it's up high enough and i'm getting close to moving them back to that area and letting them graze in the taller grass which is going to be perfect right now because uh here in just like probably the next couple of weeks we'll get our first frost here in north alabama and uh that'll really help them on getting some more weight put on them for winter of course we're going to feed them throughout the winter you know feed them hay and everything and any other forage that we can possibly get to them but they won't have the lush forage that they normally do around here and uh they'll 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 need a lot of that hay so uh yeah looking looking forward to that um i'm hoping that by next year they will be up uh, big enough that uh the buck there will be able to um breed the doe or excuse me the ram i'm thinking of rabbits there uh the little ram there will be able to um breed the does and uh they'll be in big enough body condition to do that um is what i'm hoping for so that way we can have some lambs and by the end of next year uh have you know three or four lambs in the freezer that'd be great um they they, they may have just singles though their first time that seems to be the the trend is first pregnancy might be just a single but then after that they're pretty consistent on uh giving twins so stay tuned for that um the uh tractor's still working out great um with three sheep i think that as long as you have the ability to move it we are going to probably shift to paddocks though but there's so many things about tractor and sheep that i like that uh we may end up continuing to just track them not sure yet so uh stay tuned for that i'll be giving more updates on them if you like the video or found any value please leave a like uh comment with any questions or anything that you might have to add down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one